It, the Big Ten punishment is drawing some big time reaction across the country and here at home. CBS News Detroit's Ibrahim Summer is on your block in Ann Arbor with what people are saying. Michigan against everybody, right? For this longtime Michigan fan, I went to my first football game here in 1991. The ongoing sign stealing scandal has hit a new low, and it kind of puts a a little bit of a stain on what they've done so far this year. Some like little Oliver here are calling the decision. And Oliver, what do you think about all this? It's all conspiracy. Really? Others like this young lady aren't surprised. It was coming, so I'm not shocked. Um, but we're a little worried about Penn State tomorrow. You're a Penn State fan? Yes, I am. <laughs> What's your reaction about all this? Um, Harbaugh's a good coach, so I'm happy he's not going to be there tomorrow. So. That's about it. That's about it. But what is surprising to even this Ohio State alum and now U of M student. I, said I went to Ohio State, so come November, maybe uh, this is good news for us. Probably shouldn't say that on public news considering I go to Michigan, but. Uh, is the timing of taking Harbaugh off the field. I thought this was going to be after the season was over when they would come down with like punishment. So it is, it is pretty, pretty surprising to me. And while it seems like almost everyone has something to say. What do you have to say to everyone else that's kind of pointing the finger at Michigan right now and, and saying, you know, they're cheaters, they're scandalous. They like to uh, tear you down when you're at the top, so. It's lonely up there. The only two words Wolverine fans are saying is free Harbaugh. Now it's clear fans are not happy about the decision to bring the hammer down on Harbaugh, but they are excited for tomorrow's game and they're confident that they'll bring home a win with or without him on the sidelines tomorrow. Reporting here in Ann Arbor, I'm Ibrahim Samra, CBS News, Detroit.